OK, so what uh, Jessica was just sharing showed you how to navigate and help your child uh, through their Schoology account. Um, something new this year is that parents are going to be offered a Schoology account, and this is going to be um, very helpful because last year when Schoology um, started, when we had the COVID shutdown, it was very hard for parents to know how their children were doing. A lot of teachers were getting questions. Did my son turn this in? Does my daughter have anything that they have to complete? Um, questions like that. Now there is going to be an access code for each of your children. Uh, for elementary students, your child's teacher will be sending that access code home. For secondary students, you can email one of their teachers. You don't have to email all their teachers because the access code is attached to the student, not the teacher. So once you get your children's access codes, you will be able to sign up for a parent account and then you'll be able to check yourself and even set it up to get notifications. Uh, if your child has something that's overdue, you'll be able to check in there, uh, say for elementary students to see what their spelling words are, if they're spelling. Um, it's going to be one account for you, but when you access that account, you will be able to click on each of your children, see their courses, see what they have to do, what they've been doing, and what's coming up. Uh, following the next slides are going to show you simple steps that you can follow to set up your Schoology parent account. When you are signing up for a parent account, you go to Schoology.com, not the Roseville Schoology.com, but just plain Schoology.com. Then you will click on sign up and click parent for a parent account. This is where you will need your child's <clears throat> access code. Like Karen said, if you are an elementary um, child, ha the teacher will give you the access code. And if you are a parent of a middle schooler or a high schooler, you will have to have uh, to ask one of their teachers for the access code. So you type in the access code and click continue. And then you will come to this welcome Schoology page and you'll see that there's uh, a blue link for parents and for the parent guide and that will help you. On this page, it's talking about the fake pair uh, about a parent account and right here you can see all of your children that you put into the account so you can add children here. You can also link with other parents on here so you're both both parents are seeing the same thing. Here is where you would click on the Schoology Guide Center and it will also help you find more Schoology features. This is the slide that shows where you can see your students. If you click up at the top at your name where it says your parent name, under your parent name, you can see all your children that you have enrolled. And this is another place. If you click the blue plus sign, you can add more children here as well.
OK, um, across the. The red ribbon that Jessica was talking about, you see the the first thing before you get to courses, groups and grade report, you have that Roseville Community Schools. It's kind of like the home button. And once you click on the Roseville Community Schools home button, you see two sections. The first section is student activity. Student activity will kind of be a running list. It almost looks like um, like a list of emails and it will show you all of the activity um, that your ch children have been doing. So it will show you if there's any updates, including messages from the teacher. It will show you um, any discussions that your children um, participated in. It will show anything that they submitted, uh, any uh, notices back from the teacher that were given to them will come up there and over on the right it will even have a section that tells you um, overdue if there's any assignments that are overdue this is all in the the student activity section the other half of this screen when you click the home button is enrollments enrollments is another place to see all the courses in one on one page so you can get to the courses by hitting courses on the red ribbon and on here it shows you all the courses that your your children are enrolled in and last and this is um, the part that we want to make sure that we stress over on the right you will see recent grades uh, attendance is in there as well it will show you overdue and upcoming assignments but we want to make sure you keep in mind that attendance is not taken within Schoology. Attendance goes through PowerSchool. So if, if a teacher like may click on something to say they're here or not, that's not the official attendance. And the same thing with grades. So kind of look at this as you can see how they're doing and if they did the assignments that were submitted through Schoology. But for many courses, for example, math, math assignments are given through the math program not through Schoology so those grades wouldn't be included in here in order to see like a good rolling account of your your child's grade then the only way to do that is in power school so this still gives you an idea of how they're doing keeping up with the assignments given to them in Schoology so just don't think of it as a, as a final grade 